Another reason why I like this route is because it really doesn't get you in trouble with any large monsters. Seriously, Gaijin? No danger at all? Really? What the hell am I looking at right now? Oh god. Seriously? <laughs> Thought this was supposed to be. Oh my God! What the hell? Okay, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! No, this is not safe at all. Why would he say it's safe? Oh God! <laughs> get me out of here! <laughs> no! Oh God! He's swapped. Seriously, how is this safe? Hello everyone, and welcome back to Impractical. I am so sorry. This video is not as short as I wanted it to be, but it will get you where you want to be. So I will leave timestamps in the description so that way you know where to go, get your info, and you can head out. On the screen, you're going to be seeing the equipment that I am using. It's not 100% recommended, but I do use it for a reason. The Utsushi mask, chest, and greaves, the visible set, are the ones that I require the most. The braces and coil really don't matter. What is important are these two skills, botanist and geologist. You will be needing them in order to complete these runs. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is how to farm for Kimura points, the fastest and best way to go about it. All right, how to gather material for your melding pots so you can spend your points. And then also the fastest way for you to farm out your pots, meaning if you got a full set of 10, how to knock out those 10 really quickly and roughly five minutes actually so you can do a set of 10 in five you will be seeing that in the video and how it's done we will be starting off with the kimura point farm this will be done in the caverns and i'll be showing you on an upsurge that isn't bones or mining so this will be on an upsurge of honey you will see that on the screen this is to show you the least amount of points you can get for this run in a short time little under 10 minutes i won't be doing the full 10 but just to show you credit for this farm route goes to gaijin hunter i will be linking his video in the description so a lot of you can watch it and see how much he gains from it the lowest i've been gaining without an upsurge or any camaro point bonuses from a dango will be around 16 or so thousand which is pretty good because that gives you three rebirths since it takes for a full set of 10 for a rebirth is 5,000. you can do three of them which gives you enough points here on a low surge it's pretty okay his video will be in the description and I'm also going to be including the subcamp locations. One and two, you will see the information on the screen about how to get those subcamp locations. All you have to do is show up and complete a quest for them. So the quest information should be showing right now. Getting started with the run, just hopping down here and getting the first scorched ore. You can actually wire bug your way up here, but I decided to walk. I'm taking more of a casual stroll through this just for the video and then to get the bismuth prism. Then you're sliding all the way down here, which isn't so bad and a lot faster than taking the polymute. To be honest, I actually timed myself. It's about a whole 10 seconds or so faster, I believe. Um, hop over here, wire bug your way all the way across this gap. Fortunately, you can't wire across, so I had to go around and then slide down again. I'll be dragging myself all the way down here and then hopping down right onto this ore. Mine the scorched ore, and then make my way right over there across to that entry cave. Right there, there will be another ore for you to mine, and then you could bring your way over there. So this run, it is easy. Uh, Gaijin is right, it's pretty easy to remember this route. It's easy, very casual. Uh, he did mention um, it is he felt safe taking this route because he doesn't run into any of the monsters. I unfortunately, written in the intro, you will see, I did see a couple fights between two. And uh, a couple times I did end up in the middle of a fight, of a turf war, which was pretty hilarious. And it does happen. So um, that's my little jab at him. But overall, I have to give him credit for this. This is a good run and I do enjoy it. So you guys will be seeing a lot of this is not me doing it at the fastest I can possibly can. Later on in the video, you will see me doing something completely as fast as I can, but this one, it's just to take my time. Right now, I'm struggling to get my dog to mount him. I don't know where he's at, what's going on, so I just decide to uh, try again, and there he goes, popping up out of nowhere. So take your way up here, and then wire bug onto that pillar, the first pillar you see right there, 
and this will get you on to this. <laughs> the funny thing about this is I've done this run at least, I, I can actually, the whole time I farm for melting pots, I use this run. And I still find myself random moments of failing the most basic things. It's funny how quickly you can get into doing something over and over for a few times. You nail it. Oh, look, a shining tailstra. That's a, uh, that's neat. Almost kind of like a Pokemon. So, <laughs> yeah, but it's funny how you can always get into the routine of doing the same thing over and over. And then you have that one run where you're just making so many mistakes. Like I remember on about two hours ago, I actually kept messing up just getting into this little tunnel. So you'll be hopping up over here and then taking this scorched ore, then taking the scorched ore right below you, you'll be able to mine it right away and hit A, as you can see, as quickly as possible. Now you'll be going to sub camp two. You'll take this sub camp and this will help the second iteration of this run. And this will be the last leg so you can complete your first run through. It's actually pretty nice. This is why you need Geologist 4 max out. The reason being so that way these ores can refresh in time and you'll be able to get a lot more material through these runs. So it does help out. Now, I know a lot of you probably saw I have good luck maxed out. That is mostly due to the Itsushi set visible. Uh, the reason why I have that, it's kind of like a placebo effect for me. It makes me feel like it's going to go a little better for that good luck, where the good luck only factors in on the end rewards of your quest. So you will see that later on in the video on the other parts, and I will highlight it and show you that it will show that you got these materials because of the active skill good luck. And that's a little extra bonus, which does help later on with material farming. Right now we're on the last leg of this uh, run. So we're going to go up to this column, mine this last prism, and we will be seeing the results very shortly, what I got. So I only did three runs of this. That is one full iteration right here. So I did three runs, which landed me around 16,000 points, which isn't so bad, but at the same time, it's the lowest. The most I got was 40,000 because of upsurges. Up next, material farm. Thunder Serpent Nawa is the best choice. You'll be able to get more materials the fastest in eight minutes. On the screen, I'll be highlighting Narawa Hide Plus. This material was gained through good luck active skill. You can tell because underneath the item, you will see active skill, good luck. So this is where it comes into play. And when I mentioned at the end of the quest, you will gain bonus materials through this skill. It does help when farming materials just to get a little extra boost, but you can also get materials that are unneeded or unable to be used in the melting pot. So that does come into factor and it's up to you if you wanted to invest into this or not. I chose it because every little bit counts for me and it has a place in my set. So. Uh, up next, you will be seeing after Thunder Serpent now, which is the fastest route. It is roughly eight minutes with a good competent squad. You will be seeing me doing two rampages, which will be the Apex Rathalos and Apex Diablos. Diablos will be coming first. The reason Diablos is first right now is because it is much faster to get through. Uh, if you still want to level up, knock out your hunter rank, I would recommend rampages. Won't give you as much material as the narwa but will give you just enough to get by a lot of those commemorative or rampage tickets especially eights are pretty decent price and you can get enough of them i've been able to get at least 11 well around 10 to 12 per run not as many as materials as i would get with narwa but enough to keep me going back and i still want to grind out to level up my hunter rank so this is a slower method but will help you gain the most xp through it as well as with Rathalos, which is a little harder because for some reason Rathalos is a beast. It's a straight out beast. He does take a lot of time and it is much of a struggle for him. So easily I can recommend Diablos, but number one will always be Narwa, hands down. Grind them out as much as you can if you need these materials to get these melding pots going. Up next, melding pot farm. We'll be using the Roly Poly Lanterns quest and you will also be needing the sub camp location for the shrines. The information will be displayed on the screen with the location and the quest requirements. For this location specifically, you will have three of those resources close to the sub camp. So it'll make it a lot faster and easier for you to grind out. This is why you need botanist maxed out in order for this to work.
from here we will be going left and picking this up climbing right over this ridge dropping down and wire bugging right over here to this one we will collect this and then wire bug right up into this mountain and this is the route you would take you can get it really fast I've had this run uh, honestly last me about roughly 30 seconds to get this done so if you do this 10 times that will be five minutes so looking back at this um, it's not a bad route it's perfect everybody lo would love this and it would help you grind out those melting pots you will see mixed results oftentimes I'll have it where I need to go further out to collect a few more and other times I will have a whole fast record so I would display the fast record on the screen for you guys to see how fast well what's the quickest time you can get this possibly done What? <laughs> New record! Yes! <laughs> wow! This is the fastest run for this. Amazing! I love it. I love it. That is some good luck right there. That is some seriously good luck. That's the fastest run I've had for this. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> wow <laughs> all right those should be the results if you guys like what you see here please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye